Whoa! Oh! What do we have here? We've got Thomas Hooker, no filter, New England Indian Pale Ale. Mm-mm-mm. Dude, I'll tell you what. One of my favorites. I give it a four out of fry. Uh, four out of fry because... <laughs> Because uh, that's that's how we talk when we're uh, a little inebriated. But yeah, four out of five. So uh, character, we've got the let's see here, tropical fruit, juice aroma. Mmm, nice. Abundant qu uh, quantities of mosaic and citrus hops make this unfiltered IPA explode in your mouth with a tropical fruit juice aroma. Heavy on the uh, <laughs> heavy on the uh, aroma. Wait, I'm sorry, aromatics, <laughs> but late on bitterness. So, what they're trying to say with that fancy word is that it's um it smells really sweet and um it tastes really good, like 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 a juicy type of flavor. Um, so yeah, don't let that big word. Uh, scare you, but yeah, no, it's good stuff. A uh, little less on the bitterness, which I, I I like. I don't like my beers to be too bitter. And down the road, I'll let you know uh, what does taste a little too bitter because you know I've had a few that have, and I will be taste testing those. So uh, this brew is a true New England IPA. So typically. Uh, You've got your basic new um IPA, and then you have your like um Pacific IPA, which is a little bit more bittery. But then the right um New England IPAs are a little less bitter, but very like really flavorful. I I'll tell you what, if you ever get your hands on a New England IPA, and then like eat this this may sound weird. Uh, and I, I've never really introduced myself to cucumbers until I moved out here. Cause I'm from Ohio. Uh, I'm telling you, like if you slice up some cucumbers and then like chase it with an IPA or even like a New England IPA, oh my gosh, it's, I'm telling you, um, cucumbers and IPA that, they balance each other out perfectly, and it makes for a really good, like, it, it makes for flavor heaven. It's so good. So, anyway, um, so what we have here, again, uh, Thomas Hooker, um, hashtag no filter. It's really good. Uh, let's see here. Brewed and canned by the Thomas Hooker Brewing Company in Bloomfield, Connecticut. Hokerbeer.com if you ever want to like you know check it out. So this is a pint, uh 16 fluid ounces. Let's see what the Oh there it is, you sneaky devil. 7% alcohol by volume. So yeah. Um and I'm doing the beers I've had before um first. Uh this is very flavorful, very good. Um, from when I've had, like, you know, when I had it before, um, awesome. It's, it's, it's a good beer and it's not too expensive. Um, I've had expensive beers in the past, um, but this won't break your, you know, you know, break the bank, you know, empty your wallet out like this, this is good stuff. So, um, if, if you ever want like a really good flavorful IPA, and, you know, if you're, like, up for, like, getting that extra buzz, I would highly recommend the New England I um, Indian Pale Ale by Thomas Hooker. <laughs> Let's try it out. So, um, again, like, uh, I've done in my other videos, like, I always taste from the can. And then from the can, I'll pour it into <laughs> I have something new this time. I have my Viking mug which is pretty freaking cool so it's uh it's a little curved however like if you ever were to drink uh something like this it, and you can find it on amazon um i would always situate the lips right here 
Because if you situate your lips like right here, it's gonna it's gonna spill all your face, <laughs> and it would be really messy. But anyway, uh, let's try this out. So um, let's go ahead and open it. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's just your basic New England Pale Ale, so it's not hazy at all. There's no. It should be no. It, it does say tropical fruit. But when I when I've had this before, it's very like you know orange, juicy type of flavor. Um, so let's give it a try and let me uh, make sure I get this right. You know what? Yeah, it's it's like a it's it's really tropical. Uh, I would say like a like a pineapple. It's more like pineapple-ish than anything else right out of the can type of flavor. Yeah, so definitely like a, like a pineapple IPA kind of flavor, which is good. Um, you can't really go wrong with like citrusy types of fruits infused in your IPAs. Um, really good. And it's unfiltered, so that's probably why the alcohol content's so high. Really good stuff. So anyway, um, because you're drinking from the can, you can't really like smell um, the beer before you then taste it, because you know it always helps to kind of get you know more of those like senses in the mix. So let's go ahead and give it a shot um, <laughs> with this mug. I don't know how you want to pour it, but I always pour it like this. I don't I don't really care. It's going to go in either way. Just make sure you uh, sip from right here. All right, all right, all right. So Matthew McConaughey. All right, let's see this. So now we got the beer in here. Oh, man. <laughs> it's going to be so good. Oh, just joking. Sorry. Anyway, blah, blah. anyway. Uh, so let me go ahead and try it uh, from the mug here. So it's. I don't know why. Um, Definitely much more smoother. Like, if you can ever, like, just pour. I know some, like, beers you're not supposed to pour from the can into a uh, glass. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, it's so much better when you pour beer from the can or bottle right into the glass or cup or whatever the heck you're drinking with. But, oh, man, yeah, it's, it's good. However, the smell... Kind of taste, like, not taste, but it kind of smells very, uh, I don't know. It, it smells spoiled. <laughs> like, they had, like, a bunch of fruit, and they just, like, let it sit there for a while. And, I mean, I mean, I guess that's what fermentation is, you know, when things sit around for a while. But, uh, um, doesn't smell pleasant. But besides the smell, I'm telling you what, yeah, like the taste is spot on. It's so good. I, don't, I it's so it, it's weird. Like I don't know. I would never go around sniffing <laughs> the Thomas Hooker no filtered New England um, IPA, but yeah, uh, the flavor is freaking spot on. It's awesome. Other beers like you can. And I, and I will be uh, throwing this one out there um, later on. And I'm not going to say anything about it right now. But, yeah, it's... When you smell it and taste it, it's perfect. It's in harmony. It's great. It's something that... It's not too expensive and you get more of. But I will do that next week. But I'm telling you what. Uh, still, nonetheless, like, this is... This is really good. Um, comes in a four-pack. Uh... Good on the wallet. Um, 
<laughs> and especially if you're looking for a good time. Uh, let's see here. If you're looking for a good time, yeah, 7% alcohol by volume. So, yeah. It's a definite buy. I would give it a 4 out of 5 and uh, be happy with it. So, um, if you have any uh, comments down below uh, or if you like my channel, please uh, like it. Subscribe. Awesome. That'd be great. Because daddy needed to make that money. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but really, it's to help you guys out. There's so many freaking beers out there. And I know I'm just starting out, so, uh, um, you know, might as well just try everything and throw it up on the old YouTube and give you guys, a, you know, kind of like a, like a different you know, perspective on what these beers taste like and, you know, whether you should buy them or not. Because you don't want to buy a beer where you're like, oh, God, well, that's terrible. Brian, I mean, jeez. I, I wish I would have watched your video so that I wouldn't have bought that crap. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I would highly recommend this. Uh, you know, again, you know, good for a wallet. Don't ever smell it while you're drinking it. <laughs> but, I mean, it's all right. But, like, yeah, don't go like, oh, it's going to be so harmonious. But, yeah, it's it's delicious. I would definitely recommend it. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, Thomas Hooker, uh, Bloomfield, Connecticut. Uh, Bloomfield, Connecticut is a great spot. I'm telling you what. It's, it's, if I had to retire anywhere, I would retire in Bloomfield because it's very nice. People are nice, and it's a great place. All right. So uh, cheers, everybody. Take it easy.